What's up card fighters, Ryan here from Vanguard Central and today we're going to be talking about something toxic. Stay tuned. Stand up! Vanguard! Where should the ban hammer strike next? As of right now, there are two main decks that are just ruining the game. It's making it really unhealthy to play as well, just because this is all you're going to see in topping tournaments. First we have Gear Chronicle, everyone knows how toxic and cancerous that deck is. And then we also have Genesis that no one really saw coming until the latest support from set 8. For Gear Chronicle, there are about three cards that I did want to talk about, and for Genesis there are only two cards in that deck that probably either need to be banned or limited. Some limiting is not even going to make a difference, simply because the card is so overwhelmingly powerful and cancerous. Three cards we're going to be talking about for Gears are TikTok, Urbitar, and Melum. And the two cards we're going to be talking about for Genesis are Taro and Wiseman. Let's start with TikTok. This card needs to be straight out banned. I don't think limiting it is going to be any helpful to the cancer that it is proposing, simply because it just it's so free. You get so many multi enabled multi attacks while plusing. TikTok is just an extremely useful card that has almost no cost. It goes into the soul, but you get you feel soul for whatever soul blasting plays that you need, like GG for example. It's seriously you, you plus so much because you can go back into Urbitar and you just get those cards back. You don't, this like, theoretically you're supposed to minus one, but you're just plusing so many cards it doesn't even matter where you're minusing. I think if we ban TikTok, um, not just to one or limiting anything like that, completely taking them out of Gear Chronicle, which is sad, I know, but sorry Gear players, this is, you're making it, it's so hard for other players in the community to actually just play the game. I think banning TikTok um, making it not playable is just going to stop that cancerous loop. At least you guys will still be able to play your multi-attack kind of plays. Um, but the ability to just, you know, keep, continue to wreck people while, while plusing on that one OTK first turn stride on Metallica uh, is just something that needs to be stopped. Limiting it will not help. It needs to go. Card number two is Urbitar. I feel like Urbitar is just something, I don't think it, the, the ban will actually help it completely. I'm not trying to target every Gear Chronicle card. Um, I'm just talking about the three main cancerous ones that I think are, you know, are these ones. It's TikTok, Urbitar, and Melum. Everything else is fine. You, it's playing a normal deck. There's no point in banning a card just because it's good. There has to be a toxic thing about it, you know, something cancerous. And I think that these three cards are actually the main ones. So banning Urutar is really just going to stop the drawing. You're still going to be able to have those multi-attacks active as long as you have TikTok. So I feel like TikTok is just generally a more cancerous card than Urutar is. Urutar basically just helps you multi-attack and plus at the same time, which is like super good, uh, but more especially just for Gear Chronicle because they have almost answers to like nearly everything. Last card is Melum, who originally people thought that this is the main card that needs to be banned. And I, I was one of them. I was like, hey, stop Melum, you stop the combo. There's other, there's more than that to it. So banning Melum, people believe is a real cancer. And I think that it's just really just going to stop you from grabbing the extra zero and then time leaping the zero back into a grade one. So you get those extra Melum plays multi-attacks. Uh, limiting it to two I guess is okay, but it, you, you're still going to have that option active. It's, it's not really good. You get to lose it in bind, but then you have your new stride, the Omega Shenron, to go ahead and grab that back, which is not good. Banning Melum, I think, is just going to go into like another loop, and that's not something that we want. Another loop that is kind of like talked about is Emi and Delayed Blazer. It's another type of not so cancerous loop, but you still get to do some nice multi attacks. See, like that is okay. That's healthy because at least they're not doing some cancerous like OTK. You're multi attacking, you're drawing as many cards as you want. Um, but that's also because of TikTok Worker. If you ban TikTok, these loops are going to die and you're going to be able to play a Gear Chronicle deck maybe the way it's meant to be played, not some cancerous toxic way. I don't know, man. I don't know. So far that's for Gears, let me know what you guys think down below, whether things should be banned or whether they should be limited. So moving on to Genesis right now, we're going to be talking about Taro. Taro is the new stand trigger that was released in set 8. The thing about this card is that I think this is a real cancer. This is what happens to, this is what makes the loop possible, which is really stupid. But that's what I thought at first. Looking back more into detail of it, Taro being limited to 2 will stop the loop completely because uh, you need at least three in the soul and that sounds like good news that sounds pretty easy okay stand trigger to two fine but the only problem with that with that is that it completely kills revelation decks and the whole point of giving revelation to genesis was that you wanted to make them more playable so i'm pretty sure bushiro doesn't want to do that because you're making all these cool revelation cards but then you ban like one of the most important cards in the deck uh, aside from fenrir then you're not even 
you're not even able to play them again. They're just back down to the bottom like OTT is. Where's the OTT support, Bushy Road? I think banning Taro is kind of sad. Um, I don't, I kind of don't want it to happen because Genesis is a really fun clan to play, uh, except for this whole Toxic Cancerous Wiseman play. Taro being limited, I don't think it's going to happen, but... I don't know, y you guys tell me, I'm not too sure either. The next card is Wiseman. With the Wiseman ban, there's absolutely no more multi-attacks. Not limited to one, because they can just save it in the soul. There's no point in doing that. But if you damage it, yay! No, you want this card out of the game completely, just because of what cancer it proposes. You you shut down so many other decks because you can slow play them by just swinging at rears or not even attacking at all, or, you know, swinging with a unboosted and it's kind of stupid because you, you're not letting them play their own game uh, which is sad and then you're gonna zero to six them in one turn is that even a game what's good about this is that if you still propose the wise men ban then at least you still get to play some revelation cards that's what makes genesis fun because you get to do all these like shenanigans with the looking at the top card and wrestling and standing with the taro but those are the basically those two cards that need to go for genesis or at least i think needs to go so if you guys are players of these two decks don't get mad at me i'm not attacking you i'm just i'm worried for the game itself the reason why i'm talking about these bans isn't to just stop your decks or slow down your decks it's really just to help other players also but what i want to talk to you guys about is other players too that you guys don't need to be scared of like you don't need to want to ban something towards new players something that needs to be said is that just because a card is just stupidly overwhelmingly powerful uh, i'm not talking about cancerous i'm talking about just powerful it doesn't mean it needs to be banned like Next Age, for example. When Next Age came out, that was just absurdly strong because you go into a re-standing stride and the second swing is a, basically a PG blocker. No one got all pooped up about that because there's ways to overcome it. You guys have to be, you know, be strong and be, be confident in yourself that you can get around those type of decks. But then there is the Time Leap plays and Genesis, which just got to go. But anyways, guys, that was it for today's episode. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I want to hear your guys' opinions and thoughts on this ban. It's a really hot topic right now just because this game, the game right now is in a very, very bad state. It's really unhealthy when you're only seeing, you know, like 55 million thousand 1100 gear toppings. And then you see the one Tachikaze solo grandmaster world champion. It's, it's really unfair to a lot of players. OTT? feels bad man but anyways guys like i always say like our videos comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for more content mango central out